Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to one of my favorite resorts here at Walt Disney World, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now, this has been a dream resort for me for quite some time now. I think ever since 2017, when I first stepped foot inside this resort, I kind of fell in love with it. And finally, in March of 2023, I was able to actually stay inside this resort. So I thought I would do a full resort tour for you, show you what it's like in the lobby, the reception, the shop, the restaurants, and of course, a room tour as well. So come along. Animal Kingdom Lodge has two sections. One is a DVC area called Kidani Village and the main house is Jambo House, which is of course where I'm staying at because I'm not a DVC member. If you book to stay at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and you're not a DVC member, chance that you're gonna be also staying at Jambo House, which is kind of the main building. It's, I, in my opinion, the better part of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. So yeah, before we head on into the lobby, I wanted to show you the outside area of Jambo House or Jumbo House as they call it here in the USA. That over there are the bus stops. So on the way there, you will be able to get to the bus stops, which I'm gonna show you later on. But this is the main entrance, which we're gonna go through now. How cute is the floor? I love it. <laughs> so many cool details here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And of course, with it being also a DVC resort, it does have the welcome home sign at the entrance. But yeah, here we are, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Let's step in and head on to the beautiful, gorgeous lobby. Now, as soon as you step into the lobby, you're gonna be completely overwhelmed by just the grandeur and beauty of this fantastic lobby. So I'm gonna be going closer on so you can see a better view of the lobby. But before we do that, I also wanted to show you the shop here. So Zawadi is the marketplace shop, open from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. daily. We're gonna have a look at the shop a little bit further on into the video, but for now, I just wanted to show you the lobby because that's probably one of the best things about this resort. I mean, look at it. So so we've just come through from those doors over there and then this is what we are welcomed by look at those beautiful giant chandeliers up there I love it of course with it again being called Animal Kingdom Lodge it very much has inspiration from African culture all over it very much of wooden vibe you can see the different levels up there and right in front of you as well you've got a beautiful view to one of the savannas which i am also going to talk about a bit later on but loads of seating areas here as you can see nice little lounge spaces so if you just want to chill here and you can even if you are not staying at animal kingdom lodge you're very much welcome to just come and experience the lobby have a look at it even just sit around and enjoy life a little bit maybe do some work maybe just people watch but this lobby is truly phenomenal the details that you notice and there are so many that i haven't noticed yet because there are just too many look at the animals on there oh i love love this place so much and even the ceiling hopefully you can kind of get a vibe of the ceiling too everything about this lobby is just chef's kiss look at that over here there's a little bit of a water feature going on here people have thrown some coins in there i think that's some stairs that goes downstairs but um, yeah, the carpets as well. I love how it's like different colors, but more or less the same styles. I love it. And then you've got that bridge up there too. I think it's um, on the fifth floor or something. You can see somebody on there, uh, which if you go up there, you can get an even better view of the entirety of this beautiful Animal Kingdom Lodge lobby. Look at these features as well. So you get these cool elements that you can have a look at. This one is called the Terracotta Figure, Cham People, Nigeria. That's where it's from. And here we have got, uh, from Cameroon, a uh, cord and bamboo vessels. So it's very much a cultural experience as well. You get to see and learn a lot about the African culture. Those over there, look, they look beautiful. These bags, oh my God, I'd love to have a bag like this. I think that must, that's meant to be a hat over there. This is from Nigeria as well, beaded crown and panels. This is what is called a marriage basket from Burkina Faso. This is so interesting. And then over here, we've got a couple of what I think are masks, but this one says head crest from Nigeria. Uh, this one's from Chad, fertility amulet. And then from Ivory Coast, we've got a human antelope mask. That's the one over there. So cool. You can see they've got this cute little area for children as well, where they can watch TV if they want to. They have cartoons playing all throughout the day. The other day on my way out to Animal Kingdom, funnily enough, I noticed Chip and Dale and I think Daisy just hanging out with the kids here. So it's worth mentioning that sometimes, especially in the mornings, I feel like, you might be able to see some characters inside the lobby as well. There seems to be a drum lesson going on there, which is very fun. And then just like that, we are gonna be heading towards this side which uh, basically leads to the outdoors 
and from that you can be able to see some of the savannas where of course there are some animals here and that's one of the major points and bonuses of staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I also want to show you this feature here because it is gorgeous. This is where I took a picture with Chip the other day. Um, you, again, you get to learn so much. The mask begins with a circular disc made of bamboo, so you get to learn how this was made. So honestly, you're almost not just staying in a hotel, but also a little mini museum if you stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Right over there behind me is where you would check in. Of course, you can also check in online if you wish to. If you've got the app, the My Disney Experience app, you can do it still so, but I normally like to actually talk to a cast member. I think cast members make the magic, so it's always nice to actually go there, physically speak to somebody, and that's what I did when I stayed here as well. But yeah, this is what the check-in area looks like. Again, we've got some lovely animal tap street on the back quite a big check-in area as well so normally you shouldn't be queuing too much they've also got this lovely fire space here which is so nice look at that looks very cozy now florida normally doesn't get hot or cold enough sorry to um warrant i suppose the fireplace but when you're indoors in the cold colder months i would say of the year then this could be nice and i love again all the details and this place just looks really cozy no one's obviously sitting here right at the moment because it's just too hot but they do have some chairs around it and it's a lovely space at the end of the lobby but with that and because we've got loads to see at this resort i think it's time to go and check out the shop let's go as i already mentioned the shop here is called zawadi marketplace open from 8 a.m to 10 p.m every single day and it's quite a large shop like i definitely did not expect it to be quite as big as it was when you first enter you see a wide selection of little animal figures oh this is cute a little turtle but made from wood honestly these are beautiful these would be nice decorations i like that giraffe as well maybe i'll have to get one actually as a souvenir because honestly make sure you'll keep watching because my room is phenomenal i've been seeing giraffes every single day from my window so yeah <laughs> keep on watching but yeah it's a nice little feature here with uh, different animals they've got from uh, big ones like this elephant over here this one's giant how would anybody take that home that is two thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars by the way in case you do want to purchase that let me know in the comments down below would you buy something like that I feel like I would. I mean, I don't have $2,500 to just blow on a massive um, elephant, but it does look cool. And also I'd worry about how to get it home. So I guess maybe it's mainly locals. But yeah, this feature as well, these birds over here. This one is uh, $650, a little bit cheaper. Oh, look at that. These are actually so cute. I have to be honest, they're cute. And now I'm worried I'm gonna have to buy, I'm gonna buy something small probably, probably the giraffe. But yeah, let's uh, carry on from these lovely lovely animals you can actually see them here as well how you can potentially display them if you wish to that lion one's cool oh this is beautiful that's stunning that's 255 dollars that ball like made out of giraffe i would like i want to buy that now <laughs> oh my god anyway carrying on i'm just going down some stairs here because they do have a couple of steps to come down the shop from you can see a selection of spirit jerseys lots of animal stuff so like um simba the lion king is quite popular in the shop akuna matata there's a spirit jersey with the Lion King on it over here. It just says Hakuna Matata on the back. Walt Disney World spirit jersey with um, leopard print. And then this one I quite like, this t-shirt. It's like a Mickey silhouette. Got a giraffe. And then I don't think there's anything on the back. No, but this is a really lovely t-shirt. Again, it's one that I'm potentially, potentially gonna buy at some point. You can see again the details actually on the top of all the merchandise as well. Look at that, all these beautiful masks. Very, very cool. So even the shop itself, has a lot of gorgeous things just to look at. They have a toy of, I wanna say maybe the tree of life or is it just a random tree? But um, yeah, it is a tree of life, it does say it there. Mickey and Minnie in their safari gear. You can get the other little toys as well, that's quite fun. Some more toys here. What are these things here? Are these like, oh, they're much heavier than I thought they would be. I'm not sure what these are. They're $6.99 though. I guess they're just like eggs with some African art on it. These look cute. Might have to purchase one of these as well, but I'm not sure why they're so heavy. Like, they're genuinely much heavier than you might expect them to be. But yeah, there's some more animal stuff here, some animal plushes. Look at that cute baby giraffes. Uh, we've got a uh, Lion King, Long Live the King, a Christmas ornament, some t-shirts here, mini lounge fly, safari lounge fly. Oh, this is cute. This is a photo frame. That'd be a quite nice one to have. You can put a photo in each of the binoculars. Very cool. Rhinos are just chubby unicorns. This is just a very random mug that really has nothing to do with Disney, but they sell them here. They've got a giraffe one here as well. Really random. 
I don't know how I feel about that. They've got a selection of animal print hats and scarves over here, which is not very much needed for Florida. And then one thing that I love is that you can actually get artworks of your resort if you wish to. So this one's actually Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, it says, um, done in 2022 by Larry Dotun, I want to say. Um, but they've got a different selection of them as well. You can actually get some animal ones if you wish to, or you can just get like a print without the uh, frame around it. This one's quite nice, yeah. They've got quite a lot of lovely, lovely artwork. That Timon one down there is funny. If you're wondering the prices for these, by the way, this one's kind of like a smaller one. It's $25, so really not bad. And with that, you can get a lovely, lovely souvenir from your time staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Before we carry on, I also wanted to show you just up there. So obviously we entered through there. You can kind of see that giant elephant again. But they also have a little table here, like a game table. I'm not sure what it is. I think maybe checkers or something. But I saw a couple of people playing a game there. So if you're coming to shop, if some members of your family don't want to shop, they can just play a game of chess or checkers or something over there. We've got some plants here. Oh, these are real plants as well. This is so cool. Oh my God, these are beautiful. Again, unfortunately, it's going to be difficult for me to take this home with me. But if I lived in the US or Florida, then these would be such cute souvenirs. Look at that. They come in really cute pots as well. And you've got some information about all of them. Oh, these are so, so stunning. You can also buy yourself Animal Kingdom style African drums here for $39.99. Yeah, the rest of the shop, I mean, most of the stuff they sell it seems to be just generic things. I feel like we've mainly covered, look at that artwork up there. It's just so fun and colorful and vibrant. I love it. It looks like they're dancing. But yeah, I feel like um, they obviously sell a variety of things. Some are Animal Kingdom Lodge exclusive. Some are just general, general stuff. Um, these crystal points are cute. I think they're $5.99 each. I used to love collecting crystals when I was younger, so I think, again, this could be quite fun for children. And then over there, actually, you can get your name. It's basically, it's called Nameworks. So it's open from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and you can have your name written in a very fun, funky way with animals in it, which is cute. Then over here, we just got some T-shirts, quite generic Walt Disney World stuff, merchandise that you can probably get uh, around the parks as well. This one's funny. There were two types of people. <laughs> Well, Magic Kingdom and Epcot, I'm definitely a Magic Kingdom kind of person. And then here we've got uh, some Animal Kingdom Lodge exclusive stuff again. That t-shirt's quite nice with the embroidery, says Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, it's nice and soft as well. We've got some more stuff down here. This Animal Kingdom t-shirt is actually what I'm wearing today. And it was about $23 or $24. There you go, that's the t-shirt. And then this is me, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing a size large, in case you are wondering. I think they go all the way to like XXL or something. Some more cute Animal Kingdom Lodge merchandise here. This is another beautiful frame here, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. You've got Mickey and Minnie around it. And then you can also get a Christmas ornament of Mickey just chilling here. You've got some bottles here. This mug is adorable. I love the giraffe handle here. Very cool. This one is $19.99. I have already bought this. You might have already seen it in my Disney World haul. And yeah, I hope you can see how big the shop is though. Like, I think this might be one of the bigger shops in terms of resort shops. I've been to a number of them. The one at the Beach Club definitely was not as big as this. I also was at Riviera Resort the other day just to go there for breakfast and the shop there was also very, very small compared to this one. So let me know in the comments down below. Is this one of the biggest shops on property in terms of resort shops? I'd be curious to know. But yeah, we've now come to the snacks section of the shop they do still have some mugs over here as well but also loads and loads of snacks so because animal kingdom lodge is also a dvc resort with kadani village next door they do sell quite a lot of food items these you would normally be able to get in most of the resorts and these as well popcorns etc look at these colorful ones 6.99 dollars they're cute so yeah, you can also get a variety of food here there's some drinks over there um, you can find some cheeses some bread turkey american milk etc because dvc is all about you know cooking and you know being away and your home away from home basically you've got your own home apparently away from home that's why they say welcome home so it means that you don't you know you can have your own food inside you don't have to constantly go out to eat as you would in your own home you know so they've got some frozen pizzas here hand tossed traditional crust and then some mickey bars over here some ice creams there's a chicken pot pie up there as well so yeah quite a lot of food options here inside the shop you've got some fresh fruit here some oranges some apples some bananas here and again this all comes with beautiful beautiful art all around it but um yeah some cereals here as well for breakfast big big american uh, tradition i suppose people love breakfast cereal here look at that duke mayo 
gotta love that and then loads of red there's some cinnamon swirls over here as well loads of crisps cookies i mean endless basically anything you'd need oh these look good powdered donuts yeah i feel like anything you'd need you should be able to find here including some lollipops and mints which you probably don't need but um <laughs> They also have this section here, which most resorts, I think, do as well, the shops. Just like, you know, things that you might need, important stuff, medical stuff, things like paracetamol, deodorant, stuff like that. So if you ever feel like you've forgotten something from home, you can always pop by to your shop in your resort. Before we leave the shop, I also wanted to show you the details up there. Look at those little giraffe heads. They are so, so beautiful. Here's one last look as well at the shop. It's a huge, huge shop very big and they've actually got two different counters as well if you want to pay with that though i am gonna leave the shop this beautiful shop <laughs> do i get that giraffe guys i mean by this point you probably already know whether or not i got this i want this how much is it oh it's only 15 dollars. not too bad and i think it could be a nice little souvenir from my time here so i've just come out of the shop and it looks like people are pin trading here there's a pin board over there and there's a shape of a simba as well which is cute of course with it being animal kingdom lodge and yeah you can go and pin trade if you wish to pin trading is very big in the us anyway conveniently we've got this map here at the entrance of the lobby as well so you can kind of get an idea of how big the resort is number one but also where things are Kidani village as i mentioned would be the dvc resort area of it we are in jambo house though and most of the things are actually in jambo house and uh, the restaurants the shop of course the pools yeah it's jambo house so this is where we are right now it says it you are here we're in the lobby this is the main lobby i'm pretty sure kidani village also has this lobby but the main lobby of animal kingdom lodge is in jambo house it's what it's known for the beautiful lobby here we've got a swimming pool here which we are going to go and have a look at later on but i think it's also time to show you some of the restaurants because animal kingdom lodge actually has three sit-down restaurants two of them are proper table service ones one of them is a buffet style restaurant and it also has a quick service so here you can see boma Boma is the buffet restaurant here. Jiko, the cooking place, is a signature dining experience here. Sana is actually located at Kidani Village, and it's one of my favorite restaurants here. And the Mara here is the quick service option. So I'm hearing a lot of loud noises. That's from the drums, the drum lesson that was going on on the other side of the lobby. It is pretty fun. Anyway, with that being said, I think it's time to go and have a look at the restaurant. So here we've got some elevators. We are currently on the third floor, by the way, in case you're wondering. The lobby of Animal Kingdom Lodge is located on the third floor. And look how awesome these elevator doors are. Can you see the hidden like giraffes on them? It is just so cute. Again, it's all about the details. It makes me so happy. And even the floor as well. Look at the wooden work here. So, so cool. That's the main lobby that we just came from. Let me just press this because we actually need to go down now to level one to check out the two restaurants. And there you go. Here we are. There is me. They have a list of the restaurants here for you as well. And there you go. Level one is where the restaurants pool and game arcade is. Level one it is very nice convenient lifts actually they do sometimes get busy around dinner time because so many people are coming down to the restaurant so bear that in mind but there's enough lifts for it to not be too much of a problem in my opinion again pretty cool floor and then here when we go outside here is where we're going to get to the pool and also the mara which is a quick service restaurant but before we head out there are two restaurants here right opposite each other so on my right hand side here we've got jiko the cooking place this is the signature dining experience here at animal kingdom lodge it is actually closed at the moment because it's only open for dinner but i do have a full video of Jiko, the cooking place here at animal kingdom lodge so i'll leave it down below if you want to check it out it's a fantastic restaurant i've dined there twice now and it's definitely one of my favorite restaurants on the whole property like on disney property Jiko is one of the best it's also a very popular one so if you want to dine here make sure you get your reservations in advance the food here like i said is signature dining so it's very much like an elevated experience it is also quite pricey Jiko is known for its wine so i would say this is a really lovely place for a date night or just like a nice celebratory meal if you wish to the food is mainly african mediterranean and indian inspired but they do have some like burgers and stuff as well especially if you've got children don't worry the kids menu does have things that they would enjoy and then right opposite juco literally on the other side we've got boma and boma is a buffet restaurant here 
at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. You can see it here. Aboma is an open and natural space which provides a safe and sheltered area in the bush. At night, its golden light pours out as a fire and a constellation of candles in the Boma Halo, a trade. Anticipate the best in African hospitality. So, yeah, this is what this restaurant looks like. Again, Boma is also currently closed because it's only open for dinner and breakfast, actually. Boma is open for breakfast, so if you want to get breakfast, you can come to Boma if you wish to. Again, I have a full video entirely dedicated to dining at Boma, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link down below. But look just how beautiful it is. Honestly, everything here is just stunning. They've got some restrooms for you there as well. And this Animal Kingdom Lodge uh, little mat on the floor I absolutely love. If you take these stairs, it's going to take you, I'm pretty sure, up back to the lobby. I just came up those stairs so I could show you. Looks like they've also got a little bar area here. I think it's probably a part of Boma's restaurant. I'm not so sure. But yeah, nice little seating area here. Some people are sitting. And then you can kind of get a better idea of what Boma looks like actually. From this angle, a pretty big restaurant. Again, on the other side, we've got Jeepo, that's where we were earlier. That's the exit to go to the pool. And yeah, this is a lovely, lovely space. And the lobby would be up there, you can kind of see it. I'm not gonna go back up though, because I actually wanna go to the Mara now, which is a quick service restaurant here. You can hear the drums again. <laughs> I love it. It gives like, like a very authentic vibe here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So we're back to where we were. On my left we've got Boma. On my right we've got Tijico, two of the main restaurants here. And I'm just going to go out now to show you what you can find outdoors. There you go. It's quite nice to be out actually. So firstly, I love this water feature. It's so nice and relaxing and calming. Look at that. I mean, can you even believe that we're in Walt Disney World at the moment? Because this just does not feel like Disney at all. And then that actually is Gico. So if you end up having a window seat at Gico, you might be able to experience the water right next to you. But yeah, this is where you would need to go to go to the Mara, the quick service restaurant here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We've got the pool there as well, which we're gonna check out in a little bit, but this is the way to the Mara. There you go. You can already see some of the tables and seating areas from the Mara. It's really not a long walk at all. Probably takes about 30 seconds. This is the menu for the Mara. And I absolutely love the little giraffes on the Ace. Very cute, very clever. So the Mara serves breakfast First lunch and dinner is your quick service option here at Animal Kingdom Lodge and they serve a variety of foods so some typical things such as chicken strips and burgers if you're more picky but you can also get some more unique things such as this bowl over here which is what I had actually on my first night it was a chicken bowl oak grilled chicken bowl and it was delicious check out my travel day vlog from Walt Disney World uh, March 2023 if you want to see that but I'm gonna take you in now to show you what the inside looks like as well and we might even actually get something to eat because I could do with a coffee or a little snack now look at this thankfully quite quiet at this time of day it's currently about 2 15 p.m. and these are the stations where you would get your hot food they've got some drinks etc over there you can also get the resort mugs if you wish to I'm pretty sure these are probably not going to be staying for too long this design anyway because it's from the 50th but they're cute so yes whatever you want to buy from the Mara you would first pay for it there you kind of tell them what you want and then you go and sit at your table and they would bring it to you so it's almost like a mix between a quick service and a table service a little bit like Nando's if you're from the UK but you can see those uh, bowls here South African vegetable bowl oak grilled chicken bowl you can see the burgers the chicken strips and of course they also do some flatbreads now one thing I think I'm going to try today is these cute coffees assorted Joffrey's coffees people rave about Joffrey's coffees I've tried it twice now and so far I'm not the biggest fan of it it's all right but I feel like maybe if I try one of those with Simba or Mickey on it it might change my mind so I'm definitely gonna get myself an animal printed coffee today but before I do that I also wanted to show you these over here look at these these zebra domes zebra domes however you want to pronounce them they are for $59 they do contain alcohol product and they are some of the most popular snacks in the whole of Walt Disney World people literally go crazy over these and I really didn't know what to expect before I tried them I tried them on my first day here and they are worth the hype they are genuinely delicious they are so so good and the fact that you can get them here at the Mara is amazing if you go and dine at Boma which is the buffet restaurant as well you can have access to unlimited zebra domes so they just have them at the buffet there you can go back for them multiple times if you wish to so I've got my zebra domes and the coffee I'm going to show you both hopefully in detail in a second but I found it really funny because as I was waiting in the queue to pay for my zebra domes or zebra domes like I said you can call them however you want to um, I noticed the person in front of me had two packs of them so eight in total this is what I mean so these zebra domes are very very popular here at Walt Disney World people literally come to Animal Kingdom Lodge to get these zebra domes this is how much people love them the coffee by the way can almost 
almost have whatever coffee you want to. It's only the design on the top that's different, so you can ask for either Simba or Mickey Mouse, and it is Joffrey's coffee. I decided to go for a cappuccino, but they can do cafe latte for you, regular coffee, and I actually think that's about it. So they can't do anything too fancy, but I enjoy a good cappuccino. And then for the Simba bit or the Mickey bit, you have an option between chocolate or cinnamon. I decided to go for cinnamon because I thought, why not? Chocolate's nice, but I felt I was in the mood for cinnamon and I can already smell the cinnamon a lot as well. So you can kind of see the Simba here. It, is, it hasn't come out the, the best way, I have to be honest. I think maybe the cast member there just was rushed or something. I don't know, I feel like it could have been done better. It also could be because it's in a to-go cup, so you can only get it in a to-go cup if you're not ordering hot food. If you're getting hot food, then they can get you those actual glasses, those cups, and bring it to you. But because I'm not getting any hot food at the moment, uh, to-go cup is the only way to go. But it still looks cute anyway. You can still see the outlines of Simba. And I think it's a novelty that counts, right? I'm gonna try a little bit of the Joffrey's Cinnamon Simba coffee first, or cappuccino. The coffee itself is pretty good, not amazing. Again, I just I don't think I get the hype over Joffrey's, I'm afraid. But the little cinnamon Simba on the top does add some nice flavor to it and it smells very strong of cinnamon. So I'm gonna enjoy that in a bit. Let's try one of the beautiful zebra domes. Here's a better look at them, by the way. I honestly wasn't sure what to think of them before I tried them. And you can see my first reactions to them, like I said in my travel day vlog from Walt Disney World March 2023 but they truly are amazing this is the back as well there's just got so many so much uh, chocolate sprinkles everywhere and it's almost like a chocolatey mousse with some caramel and some liquor as well which is why it says it contains alcohol but let me give this a taste test they are delicious like legitimately some of the best things i've ever put inside my mouth they're so good i love chocolatey desserts anyway but these are just something else like i do get the hype now i feel like Four is enough though, I don't think you need more. You could even easily share the four between a family of four if you wanted to. But if you really love them, like I said, Boma is the place to go because Boma is an all-you-can-eat buffet. You can get as many of these as you want. Well, after some delicious zebra domes and a pretty good coffee as well, to be fair, I have now left the Mara, the quick service option here, at Animal Kingdom Lodge and I am walking through these lovely outdoor areas of this resort. Now, the swimming pool is just over here. I'm going to show you a little bit of it. I don't want to go too close because there are people actually swimming in there right now, but it's a lovely swimming pool. So yeah, I am heading back inside now. Again, look at those details, even just on the sides of the buildings here. There's just so many cool things to look at if you're staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort. And I'm going to go back to the lobby now because I want to try out this giraffe trail thing, something I actually haven't done yet in Animal Kingdom Lodge. So the giraffe trail slash fitness center seems to be this way. This is the shop that we were in earlier, the main shop at the Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking and seeing what we see. From this first window, you can see some of the buildings at Animal Kingdom Lodge a little bit better. And of course, there's a little bit of a view of the pool that we saw earlier down there too. As with almost everywhere you go inside this hotel, they have beautiful artwork literally all around it. This one is from Cameroon, Capsiki people, and yeah, it looks beautiful. Again, just love all the details. These are what the exteriors of the rooms look like, by the way, just to give you a bit of a hint as to what's to come later on when we go to my actual room. Because let me tell you, if you've watched so far and if you're already impressed, when you see the room, you're gonna be completely sold on this resort. Again, this next window here is giving us another look at the swimming pool here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort, Jambo House, and some of the buildings on the other side as well. The sign here is telling me to take the elevator to go to the fitness center slash pool. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, there you go. I'm not sure if it's gonna take us, okay. I mean, that's where we were earlier. So literally going back to where we were to find this fitness center. I have to be honest, the main reason I even did this trail was mainly to see giraffes because I thought I was gonna be seeing some. But um, yeah, no giraffes, but the fitness center is here. So let's check that out. The fitness center is just over here. It's called the Zahanati Massage and Fitness Center. There's some hand sanitizer here as well. I think you obviously need your card to go in. Thankfully, I do have my card here. You can also use a magic band if you want to. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head in. Wow. Okay, nobody here inside the fitness center slash pool. You can see some information here. It says fitness center rules. Use the fitness center is complimentary for registered guests of this resort. Guests must be 14 years or older to use the facility. Take your time to relax, massage, in room massage as well. Lord have mercy, you can get facial here. And uh, yeah, it's open 24 hours. So that's pretty cool to know. But yeah, absolutely nobody here, which makes it easy for me to 
show you in here. I've got loads of TVs, loads of treadmills there. If you want to do some exercise walking, some bikes, some more gym equipment all around there. They've even got those like weight balls over there. So yeah, as somebody who definitely does not go to the gym often, I am impressed. Leave me in the comments down below how you feel about this gym space though, this fitness center. I'd love to try their massages or facial one day. I feel like I'm not here long enough to actually make full use of the services offered at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, but yeah. Also, I love, again, these beautiful photos everywhere. You still have this Animal Kingdom vibe, even in the fitness center, which is awesome. Anyway, with that, I am now back into the gorgeous lobby of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. And honestly, every single time I step into this lobby, I am amazed. It is so impressive. It is so beautiful. It's so unique as well. It literally feels like you're in a different place altogether. It really does not feel like Disney, except it does have some little Disney elements all around. And of course, with it being in Disney World, cast members and the service is excellent. But we basically had a look at almost everything here at Jambo House in Animal Kingdom Lodge. The restaurants, the pool, we had a look at the lobby as well. Of course, there's one thing left to go now, and that is my room. Now, you can get a variety of different rooms here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. They've got some standard rooms, they've got some savannah rooms, which are very much sought after. They've also got some like club level rooms, premium rooms. I think they also have some suites on the fifth and sixth floor. But I paid for a standard room when I booked this resort, and somehow I've been upgraded to a savannah room. Now, I don't know why, I don't know how I got lucky, but I'm very, very very happy i think from my understanding they have more savannah rooms actually at animal kingdom lodge than standard rooms so i think they've got something like 700 or something like that savannah rooms and then only about 150 standard rooms so maybe that's why i got lucky in any case i am so excited to show you this room because it is possibly one of the best rooms i've ever stayed at not even just disney wise it's just such a unique experience i've literally got a savannah outside my room so to go to my room they've got loads of rooms everywhere as you can imagine with uh, five or six levels here just inside jambo house alone but um, this is where my room is located there you go the kudu trail is what I need to follow except I'm on the fourth floor so we will have to get the elevator one level up but I also want to show you this really quickly this fire extinguisher has a sign of a giraffe on it so cute also on the way to my room I wanted to show you this section here they have some phones American phones if you want to make a call and if you don't want to use your UK phone or no matter where you are you can use these ones if you wish to they also have some portable chargers called fuel rods that you can buy here and if you get them you can actually recharge them so I think you only have to pay once there $30 and then look at that they've got a mail situation so if you want to mail anything or post something to your friends or family you can definitely do so here and I think that's just a cash machine over there so like I said our room is located on the Kudu Trail all the way at the end of it as well so we've got quite a bit of a walk to go it probably takes about three or four minutes obviously including the lift up as well and look how cute the carpet looks as well at Animal Kingdom Lodge also they've got windows all throughout the resort so on your way anywhere it's always worth having a look on both sides just to see if you can spot some animals i think at the time of filming it's like afternoon time so most of them aren't around but there's nothing quite like walking through a resort and just constantly seeing animals or being on the lookout for them it's so so much fun also the doors <laughs> honestly this resort is so beautiful even just like the wallpaper I love it. I'm currently on the third floor, which is obviously also where the lobby is. Um, there's a sign for exit. You can get the stairs up or down if you wish to. I have actually had to do that a number of times because the lift's not been working. However, I think the lift has been working today. It's just over here, Kudo Trail, and the lift has just arrived. You can see on the lift signs here as well, they've got the lobby, which is on the third floor, bus stop, etc. It's about the overlook, cast members only. So I'm not gonna go to level one, but um, we're actually going up to level four, and we are now out of the lift this is my level this is where my room is so there you go this is what you see when you first come out of the lift on the fourth floor on this side again so many cool museum like pieces to look at this is from Mali it's called the Cora guitar very cool and then I think this is some kind of drum it's called a talking drum uh, again from Nigeria this one and then what's this one here a trumpet from Congo this one very cool and then from Cameroon so yeah loads and loads of things to look at just as you're walking through this resort they also have these lovely posters everywhere it says music of Africa musical instruments music can be found at the core of all African life it is created at times of celebration for ritual and even for work so you can see some of the different instruments used here this one's a drum carved from a tree trunk uh, very cool so cool and again there's even more information here from other instruments that you can find in Africa that one's from Ethiopia over there man playing ching chang is the name of that instrument and actually we're on the fourth floor but you can see even on the fifth floor 
there's even more of these posters so no matter where you're located inside this resort you're going to find something interesting to read and look at also before we head on into my room which is down that way i also wanted to show you these machines that they've got going on these vending machines also like an ice bucket machine so if you happen to want a bottle of water or a drink when the shops and restaurants are closed you can always come here they take uh, credit cards debit cards etc or dollar bills one dollars or five dollar bills and you can grab yourself a bottle of water coke whatever you wish to i thought i'd mention that because that's something that i found quite useful the other day i came back from the parks at around maybe 11 13 or midnight close to midnight and so the shop was closed and so were the restaurants so i went to Carson and asked him what can i do if i want to just buy myself a bottle of water and she told me that there are these vending machines normally by the elevators and all the levels that you can use so that's what i did and it might help you as well also look there's a little animal down there i'm not sure what it is actually please let me know in the comments but you can see one kind of heading towards us all the way in the distance pretty cool and lordy there's a giraffe here as well <laughs> look at him it's bending its neck now it's about to walk oh my god they are so beautiful and this is literally on my way to my room guys there's this window here large windows and they've got them everywhere through the resort as you can imagine so like i said just make sure you're constantly looking around because you're going to miss animals otherwise still on the way to my room i wanted to show you some more of these lovely statues and features that they've got going on here this one's one of my favorites i've been walking past it every single day on my way to the parks and it is so cool this is a drum but it's got blue legs i think that's just so cool i love it and this is from ghana so there you go how awesome is that sorry about the reflection hopefully you can kind of get an idea there you go you can kind of see what it looks like i love it and just like that we are getting closer and closer to my room this isn't it but i just wanted to show you the details on the doors and again the carpet and then on this door all the doors actually look a little bit different because obviously these is like this is like wooden carved carved wood is probably the best way to put it so very much handmade and you can see mine's a slightly different to some of the other doors here and yeah this is my room over here room number 4382 honestly this room has been an absolute dream and i am so excited to show you inside so let's head on in so there you go we've got this beautiful design on my door room number 4382 as i mentioned got my mickey card here with me you can also use a magic band of course let's head on in and have a look at this beautiful room okay let me just close the door of course you've got a map of the building evacuation routes etc i love that it's jiminy cricket play it smart he says but let me just turn around so you can see the view once you first come into the room you can see that there is a balcony and that's the savannah room which we're going to get to later on but uh, at first glance it's not the biggest of rooms but it's got everything that you could possibly need so let's uh, carry on here we've got this full length mirror on my right hand side here which is what i've been doing my outfits of the day in my vlog series in case you're wondering um it's got some nice details on the sides as you can see some kind of i guess animal prints etc wooden vibes very very nice and then we've got the toilet there which we're going to get to in a second but then i wanted to show you the left hand side as well again we've got the same kind of wooden vibe details these are your wardrobes your cupboards etc let me just quickly open to show it to you so we've got some hangers over there in case you need some you do have a very large safe actually apologies for all my clothes up there but yeah you don't have a lot of space actually i would say but it's enough of a storage unit especially for like you know one person it's more than enough i think even if you're a family of four or five you should be okay they do actually also have a steamer here which is nice and convenient but let me open up the other side i don't think i actually know what's on the other side let's have a look oh okay so there is some more space here for you to hang your clothes if you wish to and then here they've got some extra pillows and blankets which i guess sometimes if it's cold you might need some more blankets and pillow wise though i think they give you enough already but that's kind of the main storage area that you have now on my right hand side of course as i mentioned we've got the bathroom and like with most of the walt disney world resort bathrooms you've got the option to just slide it like that so that full length mirror that you saw earlier i've just uh, slid it now the bathroom is closed and then that section over there is just a wall but i'm gonna open again to be fair because it's just been me here i've uh, left it open for the most part i've not needed to close it so yeah then we step into the bathroom let me turn on the lights there you go so this is your sink area you've got two separate sinks which is always handy and useful let me just step a bit forward you've got this lovely mirror here as well i absolutely love the design around the mirror 
it is gorgeous honestly let me just quickly feel it yeah it's so nice every detail in this room and in this resort just generally is beautiful the actual sinks as well are lovely nice and spacious you've got these details here going on as well i thought there might be cupboards but they're not they're just some nice woodworks going on um you do get a hairdryer as you can see that's the one that actually came with the room a lovely cast member also gave me another one the other day for some reason that's why i've got two but the original one the one from the room works absolutely fine um really good for a hotel hairdryer you've got one of these mirrors over here the ones where you can make your your makeup if you wish to I personally find these quite scary because sometimes look at that you can see yourself just way too there you go that I'm I'm huge at the moment I don't want to see nobody nobody needs to see my face that big but um, yeah you also have some little plugs if you want to um, shave etc whatever you need to do you've got your towels you've got this little rack you've got this beautiful artwork of uh, obviously the Lion King Hakuna Matata it says so a little bit of Disney thrown into the resort yeah, the mirror we've already had a look at. Uh, the sinks as well. Of course, they give you some Disney H2O products. This is the soap that, of course, I've used. Obviously, I've been here for a while now, and they do give you new soaps um, almost every day, to be honest. You have your vanity kit as well. You've got mouthwash, mouthwash, body lotion, and a shower cap. If you need any of these, you can, of course, use them. You can also take them if you want to. It's um, complimentary to your stay. Um, then on this side here, so there's actually a door, as you can see, that separates the toilet and the shower to the sink, which makes life so easy. If you're a big family, if you're here with your friends, if somebody needs the sink and somebody needs a shower, then you can easily close that. Let me show you how that works. There you go. So again, by doing this, you can pull it all the way down. You've now closed it, so then somebody can be in the shower, in the on the toilet, etc., without disturbing anybody who needs to wash their hands or do their makeup or whatever in the sink area. So yeah, here is the toilet section of the bathroom. Of course, you've got your toilet here, toilet paper, etc. You get given towels as well, quite a lot of towels, and they obviously do replace them for you if you need to. And then we come to the shower. Now this is an amazing shower. I highly recommend it. You've got two shower heads as you can see and I really like that because I like the option to just just mix and match you know so you've got that big one which is great great uh, pressure with the water etc then you've got that small one as well which is like a lot more adjustable and I love uh, hotels and rooms that actually have both options because sometimes you just want to stand under a shower like that big one but sometimes you also need a little bit more you know control of your water and yeah Animal Kingdom Lodge definitely gives you both options and then we just quickly open that up um, so yeah the shower lovely as I mentioned shower heads definitely good water temperature and pressure amazing the actual design of the shower pretty basic nothing uh, unique going on there of course you've also got your H2O products which obviously I have been using and I love it it's nice uh, you've got your sea salt body wash sea marine shampoo and then uh, sea marine conditioner I love the little cases they come in as well look at those hidden mickeys in the shape of bubbles and you've got that little space as well if you want to put your phone which i have been putting my phone there just to listen to some music obviously because i'm so you know traveling solo it's just nice to have some <laughs> music in the background as i'm showering but yeah let me just uh, close that as well it is of course also worth noting that it's uh, all glassy so no curtains i know loads of people are not fans of curtains me included in our own house we have glass as well just i'm not about the curtain life at all when it comes to showers with that though we are done with the bathroom area let me just uh Turn the lights off actually that one as well already we've gone very dark now and yeah now we are slowly but surely getting to the main room and you can have a quick glimpse if you wish i'll show everything to you in detail a little bit later on but i want to show you this we have a coffee making machine here it gives you instructions on how to use it if you wish to you've got your ice bucket up there as well including some uh, plastic cups as well some more storage as well if you want what's under here Oh, okay, so this, these are the actual coffees and milks and sugars and whatnot that you might need if you want to make yourself coffee. I don't actually drink much coffee when I'm in Disney World or in Disney, to be honest, so I haven't used that at all. But you have uh, everything that you need, to be honest, which is lovely to know. And then here is the fridge, which is always good. I'm going to enjoy these after I stop filming this uh, section of the tour. But uh, yeah, it's always nice to have a sizable mini fridge as well this is just my suitcase over here you've got a bin including a recycling area and of course let me just take that up this is where you would put your suitcase if you wish
wish to. Obviously, it is just me, but if you have multiple suitcases, then there is definitely other storage areas as well, which I will show you, including under the beds. Like these beds are high up. These are American beds, so you can easily store a couple of suitcases under both of these beds. Now, talking about the beds, let's actually now get to them because they are really lovely. I absolutely adore the designs of them. The headboards, I think, are so, so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think, but I think just the detail. Let's have a closer look. There you go. You can see these, again, carved wooden feels to it. And then with the this kind of um, softer texture on the bottom, it just goes so nicely. And the fact that you've got some lights uh, come shining through from the top of those beds as well. I absolutely love it. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments though. And then you've got this nice artwork on this side of the room as well. It's not necessarily a Disney artwork, it's just some animals. You've got an elephant, giraffes, etc., which is nice. Nice little vibe. You can also control the temperature here, which is great. You've got that little side bedside table thing, as well as a couple of USB plugs. Incredibly, incredibly convenient, especially if there's quite a lot of you because they have quite a few of these again love the design you even got these lamps here look at that <laughs> this is so cool right you got like little bedside lamps and you can control them if you wish to there was uh, four of them all together two on each side of the beds are the beds the most comfortable beds i've ever slept on no but they are incredibly comfortable they're nice and soft i love american beds anyway because normally my bed in the uk is definitely a lot shorter than these ones so it's kind of nice the novelty of kind of sleeping on a slightly elevated bed but oh, look at that you can see the little introduction on the tv i still can't believe i'm staying here at the animal kingdom lodge this has been a dream resort of mine as i've probably said quite a few times in this video but yes carrying on also i love those details over there from the lion king just behind the coffee making machine as well as these plates as well everything is just so beautiful and just feels so authentic which i love but yes, yeah, so underneath the TV that we just saw, we've got this chest of drawers area, which uh, has quite a lot of storage space. I haven't really used it because I panic about, you know, filling these places with my stuff because then I worry about potentially forgetting and leaving stuff in the hotel uh, room. So I very rarely tend to actually unpack properly. As you can see, I've got most of my stuff still in my suitcase. Some stuff is outside, but the majority of it, I kind of like to keep inside. But there is quite a lot of space, as you can see. And as you can see, I'm also currently charging a couple of things. I'm charging my laptop here. I'm charging some uh, batteries for my camera. So they do have quite a lot of uh, plugs here. Blocks, like there's some USB ones there as well, as well as some US ones. So yeah, you're gonna be absolutely fine in terms of chargeability factor. Um, oh, let me show you this as well, actually, whilst we're at it. This is the map of Animal Kingdom Lodge, and you can see exactly where I am, room number 4382. And this is, this is me, this Mickey head here. So kind of, this would be the entrance. This is where you would check in over here. And then I'd go all the way here, which is why it takes a little bit of time to get to my room from the reception, but I really don't mind at all because look at that. I've got a room close to the Sunset Savannah, which is just phenomenal. <laughs> like, it's so, so cool. We've actually got the Arusha Savannah on the other side as well, which I believe the Arusha Savannah is meant to be one of the most uh, sought after ones. I'm not so sure, but there you go. This is the map. You kind of hopefully have a better understanding of where we are. And then this section here would be Kidani Village, which is, of course, the DVC side of things. Please ignore all these Disney World bags. There will be a haul coming up, or it might already be on my channel. I have bought quite a few things, but yeah, we are just going to ignore that for now. Um, we then have this little table set up going on as well, which, again, look how gorgeous the details are. Everything just has character in this hotel, which I absolutely adore. And then the chairs as well, some nice wooden chairs. To be honest, I haven't really used them. I have not needed to, I just go on my bed. I've got two beds to choose from. We've also got this, uh, another mirror. There you go. This one's not a full length one, but again, it does have the nice uh, details, the nice colors. I really like that red color actually. Very cool, as well as that uh, lovely lamp up there as well. And actually, whilst we're at it, look at that like wooden vibe going on across the room too. It's all a very wooden feeling, even the floors are wood, which is cool. Oh, there's some more plugs down there as well. I just noticed I've got my Apple Watch charger there for some reason. So yeah, you're never short for plugs or USB uh, areas. Um, so yeah, another little chair over here. Let me quickly pan out so you can see the room from this other angle as well. Look at that. Honestly, the beds, especially the top of the beds where the lights shine, 
I think are so, so cute. And you can see again the bedside uh, little tables on both sides of the beds. Very cute. That was done by uh, mousekeeping or housekeeping earlier today when I came. They just put all my ears here for some reason, which is fine. It's a cute little detail. But yeah, here's uh, one last look. Look at it. It's, uh, it's got very much like brown, orange, cream vibes, this room. And I love it. I think it's amazing. I've really enjoyed my stay here. Oh yeah, I just remembered one more thing that I should probably show you. This little section in between the beds. Um, again, look at the detail there. That's cute. That's a little mini Disney reference with Simba, I suppose. And then inside it, of course, you're going to find a Bible because I believe that's just a law in the US. Every hotel room needs one. But yeah, that's a, like a storage area too. I've just been leaving my um, shoes in there. And you've got the telephone as well, as well as look at that, actually. Some more uh, USB cables and US ones. And then the telephone is here. I'm looking them large. You've got your room there as well, which is convenient. And you can call anywhere you want to. Front desk, uh, dining options, resort information, wake up call, whatever you want to, you can absolutely do. And yes, I do carry a thermometer with me whenever I try to travel everywhere, especially when I'm traveling solo, just because, of course, with the pandemic going on, it's good to it's good to check, right? And then here, actually, I don't think I've used these before, but they've got a number of buttons, as you can see. One says good night, one says ceiling, one says, can't really read that. And then up, up lights. Let's press them on. Oh, okay. So this one, I've just, uh, this one basically turns off those uh, top of the headboard lights. Let me turn it back on. There you go. I prefer it when it's on. And then this one. Okay. That's just for these ones here. You can see there's two other ones on the other sides of the bed. They're very cute. We don't need them at the moment though. Ceiling would of course turn on the ceiling light, which again, we don't need. So let me just turn it off again. And then the last one is a good night one. So I think this might probably turn everything off. Let's try it. Yeah, that's what it does. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put these back on now because I do like some of these on. But yeah, so you've got a number of options literally right next to your beds, which makes life really convenient just before you sleep. But that's for the room itself. Now, as I mentioned early on, I have been incredibly lucky on this day to have a Savannah view room, even though I didn't pay for one, I paid for a very much a standard room. Somehow I got upgraded and it has been one of the best things ever. I would highly recommend that if you are staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort and if you think you'll be spending quite a bit of time inside the resort, then definitely do the upgrade if you can. I think normally the upgrade is probably about $200 per night extra to the standard room. So like I said, I'm incredibly lucky that this happened to me for free and you might be as well. Sometimes they might just upgrade people. But I know that that's a question that a lot of people ask if they're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Should we go for a Savannah room or should we just go for a standard room? I would say it very much depends on what kind of holiday you're having. If you think you'll be spending most of your time in the parks, then a standard room should suffice because regardless of not having a Savannah or having one, you'll still be able to see quite a lot of animals at this resort. Like you'll still get the vibe of it being Animal Kingdom Lodge. And if you're going to be mainly in the parks anyway, then it's not really worth paying the extra for a savannah room um, but if you think you might might want to spend some time inside your resort like i have i mean i didn't plan to but i've definitely made the point to make sure that i just every morning at least i spend a bit of time with the animals in my balcony just looking at them so yeah it depends on what kind of trip you're looking for and like i said sometimes you might get lucky and just get upgraded but obviously don't count on it but i'm going to take you outside in a second to the balcony don't forget we are on the fourth floor i wanted to also show you the curtains though because the curtains are also quite nice. Um, not my favorite thing about this room, but they are, they, they go quite well with the rest of the theming. To be fair, I very rarely have the curtains off. <laughs> I have to force myself every night to do that. I suppose when it's dark, you can't really see much outside. Look at that. Please do not throw food or trash into the savannah. That's so sad that they have to tell you that as if some people would do that. And I know some people do, sadly. So yeah, let's quickly head out. Woo. Bam. There you go. So here we've got a couple of seats where you can relax and enjoy yourself. You can see there's barriers as well to kind of give you some privacy from the other balconies nearby. You've got a table here as well and another chair. And then you've got this view. Now, look at that. How incredible is this view? You can see some of the buildings on the other side. You can see this sunset savannah over here. 
and it is just a gorgeous gorgeous experience like at the moment there aren't very many animals around because it's 6 p.m normally they tend to come out earlier in the morning but look at that there are a couple of birds over there hopefully you can see them look at that ostrich just behind those trees as well casually shooting there's quite a few of them actually there's also one over there can you see far into the distance as well as the other birds there's just so many different animals and it's actually exciting coming to the balcony and seeing who you're going to see which kind of animals what species you're going to see depending on the time of day whether it's morning afternoon evening time and i will be honest as soon as you step outside into your balcony there is some kind of strong animal smell that you might smell so if that offends you then maybe this resort is not for you or maybe you might want one without a balcony although i'm pretty sure most of the uh, rooms here have balconies even if they don't have a savannah room they still have balconies so just just be prepared for that you are an animal kingdom lodge it is going to smell of animals if you don't like that if you don't like having your breakfast for instance with an animal smell around you then like this might not be for you but i really don't mind at all in fact i really like it it's uh it's been absolutely just breathtaking. It's been a dream come true and for so many years I've been wanting to stay at this resort at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort and somehow it happened and I didn't even realize it was going to happen because like I said I thought I was going to be in a standard room. I was excited about that alone but then with it now turning into like a savannah room the full experience if you like it um, it has confirmed to me that it is definitely my favorite resort so far that I've stayed at. Of course I've not stayed at every single resort here at Walt Disney World but I have stayed at a number of them. I've stayed at the Beach Club which was excellent as well. That's probably my second favorite. I've done Old Key West. I've done a number of the moderate ones like Port Orleans Riverside, French Quarter, which I also love, um, Caribbean Beach, Art of Animation I've done, um, as well as All Star Movies as well. So I've done a few different levels as well in terms of hotels, but yeah, this one, you can't beat it because it's a very unique experience. I mean, you can see the birds just going past over there. And actually, because obviously we don't have any animals here right now, because of the time, it is literally 6 p.m. at the moment. I am gonna now go into some clips from morning time so you can see exactly what it's like to wake up to giraffes. Look at these beautiful giraffes. This is morning time. And uh, they normally actually tend to come out in the morning and kind of late afternoon. They try to, I guess, avoid um, kind of direct sunshine when it gets very hot. But there's a few of them here at the moment. Hopefully you can see them. But yeah, pretty incredible view. I love how they're just staring at something. Giraffes are just such majestic creatures they're very they look composed and calm anyway at least uh, that's how <laughs> the, that's the vibe i get from them but yeah this is the view currently it's uh, 11 a.m it took a while for them to come out this morning uh, it kind of depends i suppose sometimes they come out earlier depending on the weather but you can see kind of the different views that you can have as well uh, to the savannah that i have and don't worry it's completely safe because you've got this railing it's just an amazing view to have a look at. I mean, <laughs> what do you think? To me, this is outstanding and so unique. You literally cannot get this anywhere else in it, Disney on Disney property, only at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I can't tell you how magical, like truly magical it's been to wake up to these giraffes every single day. Sometimes we have other animals as well, like zebras, and I think there's been some ostriches at times as well, but I mean, <laughs> the giraffes are absolutely my favorite. And look at that, you can actually, you can sit here. You can sit here, there's another chair as well. And every morning I start my day with the giraffes. Sometimes if I'm back in my hotel room in the afternoon, I also check on them. Sometimes they're not here, they might be somewhere else feeding, etc. But quite often they are here and I absolutely love it. And all these rooms here would also have a savannah room. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> <sighs> please leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this situation is this also one of your disney dreams because for me absolutely this has been my disney dream resort stay for ages and i love it look at that one just casually walking past and because animal kingdom lodge is very large in terms of a resort it's now going to other areas where other guests can see them but yeah this one this one's coming towards us look how they walk like giraffes are such beautiful creatures honestly <laughs> I'm so fascinated by them. I could watch them literally 24-7. They're that cool. But that's more or less it for the room here. Like I said, not the most spacious of rooms, but for me, absolutely perfect. I love the theming, I love the vibes, I love the color scheming as well. This is a deluxe resort and some people might not find the vibe of the rooms as deluxe as some of the other deluxe resorts here, like the Beach Club definitely felt a lot more elevated and I'm sure some of the Magic Kingdom resorts also feel a lot more posh, whereas these ones 
feel elegant but not necessarily posh you know like the material you see it doesn't feel like wow it's like gold and something extravagant it's just very nicely done but also it is worth mentioning that because they have animals at this resort like literally all around the resort it's the only resort at Walt Disney World where you're not allowed to have a balloon so obviously most of the parks here sell balloons different kinds of cute balloons that people might want to buy kids will probably enjoy and if you get one in the parks and bring it back to this resort a cast member will kindly ask you to give it to them so they can have it somewhere safe and then you can collect it after you leave I suppose but bear that in mind as well because if you get a balloon you can't just have it in your room you can't have it free it's for the safety of the animals it makes sense but yes here is one more pan of the rooms here at Animal Kingdom Lodge's Jambo House you can hopefully get a nice understanding of what they look like with the beds with the decor everything the tv which is a quite giant one the chairs here everything that you need literally you have them here these are gorgeous rooms and i've absolutely loved my stay you've seen most of the resorts so far now but there is one last thing one important thing that i need to show you as well and that is of course the buses so there you go this is zone number one this is one of the bus stops here at animal kingdoms jambo house and as you can see this one takes you to disney's animal kingdom it is a beach and it does say a note down there as well it says transportation to Kidani village you need to board the disney springs bus so if you want to go to Kidani village you have to hop on the bus that goes to disney springs but the bus stops are literally right next to each other look how cute this one is this one's heading to animal kingdom but um yeah you can literally find them right next to each other as we go on and there's also a board here which i'm going to show you in a second so if you're not sure as to when the next bus will come they literally have a board that shows you exactly when you can get which buses so for instance epcot's the next bus will come at 3 40 p.m so in about 20 minutes uh hello studios is 3 28 i'm not sure what's happened with the magical magic kingdom one it says use bus not sure um and blizzard beach is currently closed but yeah every information you need you can easily find and as you see the bus stops all right next to each other right you've seen almost everything now you saw the room you've seen the lobby you've seen a glimpse of the restaurants as well but if you don't go for a savannah room or if you're not as lucky as i was to be upgraded free of charge to a savannah room don't worry you can still see loads of animals if you stay at the animal kingdom lodge so when you come into the lobby you come from that other entrance here that's where you would check in etc i've already shown you this beautiful feature here and then this outdoor area is where you can head to to have a look at some animals so we're going to go down the stairs now very quickly and have a look a cast member told me they sometimes even have cast members actually talking you through some of the animals that you can see here we're going to see if there are any right now or not if not we'll just have a look so there you go we have just come out looks to be a fire space here as well fireplace with some seats again for some of the cooler months of the year and i think there's something going on on the left hand side as well I'm not quite sure, some kind of activity, but here we are. We can see one of the savannas over here, and again, a slightly better look as well of all the buildings from the outside. So here you can see some birds. It does also say do not climb, just in case you have children. Yeah, some birds over here, and they've got some water bugs here too, apparently. So sometimes you might be able to see those over here. Here's a better look again at some of the buildings. And yeah, you've got these savannas here. It obviously depends on when the animals want to come out. They might be sleeping, they might be eating. The important thing is that you can and you will definitely see some animals if you're staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort. You can see here they've got some information about the giraffe. The tallest animal on land has a complex circulatory system. It's a long way from a giraffe's heart to its neck, about 8 feet, 2.5 meters in adults. I'm not sure how well you can see, but there are definitely some giraffes all the way back there as well as some other animals so yeah they they seem to be not really coming close to us at the moment but they have this whole savanna space to wander around and as you saw from my window in my room they do wander around and walk around throughout the day so don't worry it just depends on when you come out to see them so you definitely make sure to come out into these outdoor areas if you're staying at the animal kingdom lodge resort just to have a look throughout the day or just ask a cast member i'm sure they'll be able to give you some information about what the best times are to come if you really want to see some animals which like i said if you're staying here it's guaranteed that you'll see at least a few but with that we have come to the end of our animal kingdom lodge resort jamba house tour i hope you enjoyed this i gave you a full tour of everything from the lobby to the restaurants the room which I could honestly stay in that room forever and fun fact it's currently March 2023 as I'm filming this of course it's International Women's Day so they've got this celebratory it says celebrate her story situation going on here I'm not sure but it's good that Disney are acknowledging Women's Month as well but thank you so much for watching this video please leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever stayed here at Animal Kingdom Lodge Resort and would you stay here if you haven't stayed here before is this one of your dream resorts like it was for me for the longest time like I said since 2017 up until 2023 about seven years of me dreaming and hoping that I'd finally be able to get to stay here and I did and 
it was worth the wait and I do also think that it is my favorite resort for sure of the ones that I've tried at least in Walt Disney World this one's my absolute favorite so far there are some other ones that I'd love to try but I find it difficult that anything will beat this this beautiful beautiful resort this unique experience that you really can't get anywhere else on any other Disney property but thank you so much for watching please make sure you are subscribed because I do loads of Disney content whether it's Disneyland Paris Walt Disney World California and even some of the Asian parks as well I also have a lot of tours already of other Disney hotels on my channel so make sure to check them out if you want to follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one bye bye